So you bought the Spark, awesome to fly. And you fly it with your phone, great. You fly it through Wi-Fi mode, that is awesome. But you want to utilize the full capabilities of the drone. What options do you have? If you bought the Spark by itself, well, you're kind of limited by your phone. And DJI knew this. So they released the controller, sold separately, that you can purchase. Now, if you bought the Flymore combo, then you don't have to worry about it because the remote comes bound to the Spark automatically. But if you didn't, then you're gonna to have to go through the binding process of the remote to the Spark. In this video, we're gonna show you how to do that. Let's get into it. What's going on everybody? It's your favorite introvert here. And today we're gonna to bind the DJI Spark to this controller. This is a new release. It is different from the Mavic. You cannot use a Mavic controller to control your Spark. The compatibility is not there yet. I'm not sure if they're gonna allow that or not. But we're gonna go through the simple steps of binding your Spark to the controller. Before we get started, a little safety tip. We are wanting to remove all the props from the Spark prior to linking the controller. This is just to prevent any mistake or incident, any type of power up without your input. So the control pillars have white circles on them. The motors have white dashes on them. White circles go to white dashes and no circles go to no dashes. The reason why they did this is because the propellers, they spin in opposite directions and the propellers are directly related to the flight direction. Any one of these white propellers can go on any one of these white dashed motors. Any one of these blank propellers can go on any one of these blank motors. But just make sure that you're separated. Well, what happens if they do go on? Well, they won't fit. DJI actually made the mounting points different. So, unless you got really Unless you got really crafty with it, which I wouldn't recommend modifying any type of propeller, any type of damage on these propellers you need to replace immediately. So DJI made it to where the white propellers go on the white dashed motors and the black propellers go on the black or the blank motors. Just a secondary safety tip, but remove the propellers prior to sinking your controller. Ensure the remote controller is within 0.66 feet or 20 centimeters. All right, so if you have a fly more combo, you do not need to worry about this because your controller comes bound, linked to your spark right out of the box. They do that at the factory so you don't have to worry about it. But if you are one of the ones that pre-ordered your spark in the solo version by itself, just the drone, and you wanted to get a controller so that you can be able to use the full capabilities of the spark, then you're in luck. It is super simple to connect. There's three easy steps, and we're going to go over them right now. All right, so first you need to make sure that both drone and controller are turned on, your new controller. Your controller will be flashing red. That will mean that it is not bound, but it's going to bind to my Spark because it's the Flymore package. All right. So this is what it looks like when your controller is bound to your Spark. Easy enough, right? Okay, so to put your Spark in bind mode, or link mode as they call it, or linking, press once and hold for three seconds or until the beep. All right, there's the beep. Front lights will blink red and then turn solid. Once you hear the audible beep and the front lights blinking red, it means it's in linking mode. Now to the controller. For the controller, there's three buttons that you're going to have to press simultaneously. A flight pause button, your function button, and your customizable button right here. Now you press these all at the same time. So you press and hold. Okay. This is signifying that your remote is in linking mode. So we're going to press and hold. Putting the spark in linking mode. And we're going to wait. There you go. You'll hear an audible tone from your controller and your light will turn green. Just like that. That means your new remote controller is connected to your Spark. Simple enough. So three easy steps. We'll go over them again. Okay. 
So you're going to press and hold for three seconds, your, your intelligent flight battery, until it beeps. Your red front LEDs will start blinking. You will press and hold your flight pause, function, and customizable button all at the same time, putting your controller in bind mode. Once it's in bind mode, or linking mode as DJI calls it, it will search for the signal that the DJI Spark is putting off, and it will sync connections from the controller to your Spark. Remember, the green light signifies that it is synced and you are good to go to fly with your controller and the Spark.